that Jeff Bezos is yeah an overlord I that's a really good way to put it that's a really good way to put it uh, <laughs> um, I think everyone is in agreement here um, yeah but I his wife his ex-wife is like the richest woman on earth and I feel like she's a better human being than him because she's like um, first she did contribute to Amazon's growth in the beginning and second um, she's doing a lot more good with her money from the divorce uh, we went from talking about video games and now the topic has shifted to whatever has happened right now <laughs> right Robert oh my gosh how's your podcast editing going any progress how can you make progress when you're like chatting and like watching a stream I cannot multitask I can multi. I can try to multitask, but I'm just not very good at multitasking. Uh, I feel like it's a skill. It's a it's a skill that I have yet to learn. Um, Wikipedia race. I have never played Wikipedia race. Uh, he's rich but can't totally hate. He was poor at thirty. Okay, okay, got it. He went from poor at thirty to like big baller. Um, but yeah, I don't know what Wikipedia race is. I it's a game. Is that a game? Um, cause he mentioned if I've ever played that, so maybe it sounds like a game. Um, I'll look it up though. Um, still putting some songs together, but I heard about slavery when I had to. <laughs> Robert! <laughs> we caught him by surprise. He left us when we were talking about video games. He came back to slaves my goodness uh it's where you open a random wikipedia page such as barbie dolls okay and set a goal of like communism you need to only click links what to get to the page honestly to get to that specific page it's funny to see how everything is linked somehow that sounds like such a fun game <laughs> i'd be down to stream that one day like that sounds so interesting um I, I don't know if it's impossible, like maybe some things are impossible. Uh, what are some good examples? Like, can you connect like a screwdriver to, uh, I don't know, the, the, a screwdriver to the moon on Jupiter? I don't know, like is that even possible or are some things just non, not connectable? <laughs> Uh, do I get to work from home? Yes, I do, especially during COVID. No one is in the office. Uh, <laughs> screwdriver to nail. Ryan, that's cheating. Um, I'm working from home because of COVID, but eventually, hopefully, uh, when all this craziness is over, hopefully I'll get back to work in the office because I really like working in the office. Like, um, I don't know about you guys, but I prefer working in the office where I get to interact with people, I get to chat with people, I get to like, you know, like just ha have like the social interaction that I need um, as opposed to working from home I don't talk to anyone um, and it's kind of sad when I say it out loud <laughs> I'm talking to you guys which is nice it's like this is the most interaction I've got all week like oh thank you guys I am this sounds kind of sad and I feel bad for myself uh, I had the stream going the entire time though <laughs> I was listening to you guys and these songs the weirdest <laughs> When the weirdest of the weird happened in the stream. <laughs> oh, Robert, I am. I I can only imagine what's what's gone through your head. Barbie dolls um, would link to manufacturing, which would somehow link to politics, which would link to communism. Okay, okay, now that you break it down for me, like step by step, that makes sense. That makes sense. You're lucky. You get it here. Um, the screwdriver would link to metals which would be linked to planet structures or something then to planets then Jupiter something like that okay you know what it is possible you're making it seem like everything and anything is possible um, <laughs> I hope that honestly I'm gonna I'm gonna test that out after the stream <laughs> and I hope that I I can like it's not gonna take me like four hours um, thank you ton I appreciate it I hope I don't know if you're talking to me but I'll take the compliment. It might be, I, I think, Tan, I think you might be referring to Rome, right? Because Rome is pretty funny. I don't know if I'm funny. A um, bunch of you guys living in your guys' uh, basement, what <laughs> what woman could 
ask for more. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, this, if you're talking about me, this is not a basement. I'm from Florida, so we don't have basements. Um, so we don't have basements, but I've always wanted a basement and an attic so, so bad. So bad. Um, it's because in all of the movies, like all the movies I've watched, basements were the cool place. Basements had like man caves or like a pool table or like some secret like i don't know like a theater room a movie theater room i want a basement when i have a house i want a basement um the reason why we don't have basements is because you know we're in florida so we, we will probably sink like sink uh, like what's it called fill our entire basements if we have a hurricane um so that's why it's because of flooding which is a, which is tragic very tragic because basements are really cool they make me feel like i i'm like I don't know, I have this like secret room, even though it's not so secret. Um, <laughs> I normally bring the weird to conversation. <laughs> Good to know, Rome. I'm gonna, okay, in that case, I'm just gonna blame this entire weird conversation on you. It was Rome, guys. Blame him. <laughs> uh, what's going through my head is you know, either why I'm still in the stream or where's the exit button? <laughs> aborts, aborts! <laughs> My aunt lives in Florida. Been there a few times to visit. Yeah, Florida's nice when it's not like crazy storming, thundering, hurricaning, you know, things like that. No, you energetic, interesting, so socialization, kind of overly positive, but that's fine. I'm sorry. I like people tell me this. I'm a little overly positive, a little too much of an optimist, but you know, I don't know. I can't help it. <laughs> Thank you, Tan. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um,. Basements also hold creepy clowns and sh Okay, okay, you didn't have to you didn't have to bring that you didn't have to bring that up You know, I didn't think about that until now and now I'm thinking about that So I don't know if I want a basement in my in my future anymore. They're creepy clowns and shit. So Creepy clown or cool movie theater. I don't know. I don't know um, Yeah, I'm second-guessing myself Rob you're here because you think you can hook up with her dang no no um <laughs> ryan don't be mean rob has been with me since my previous streams he's been super chatty and like very very nice he also isn't even paying attention to the stream he's like mostly editing his podcast um <laughs> hello iray thank you so much for the follow i appreciate you um we're talking about basements do you feel like basements okay so backstory i don't i don't have a basement do you think basements are cool or do you think they're creepy because you know they're a little of both um you thought of dressing up like it and hanging out in the sewer drain for halloween okay i have some questions for you ryan first of all how do you fit in a sewer drain how do you as a fully grown man fit in a sewer drain? Second, <laughs> second, why would you do that? Why would you terrify people? Third, what are you gonna do if nobody passes by the sewer? Are you just gonna sleep there overnight? Please answer my questions. I really wanna know. Um, <laughs> my name's Ire, 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 right? Am I pronouncing it right? Ire? Like the letter E and then Ray. Um, let me know. I'm really bad at names. I want to get better at pronouncing names because sometimes I get into meetings with these people with foreign names and I'm I mispronounce it like really really bad and it's I I feel bad like they don't call me out but I just know that I'm completely butchering their name. Um, basements are fine. Addicts are cold as fuck. Okay, okay. So basements. I feel like basements are like the cool thing and then attics are just like kind of dusty and forgotten about because no one intentionally climbs up to their attic to just like hang out. No one does that. No, like not even in the movies. No one in the movies does that. I think the attic is just like the forgotten storage area. Like things, it's where you put things that you don't want anyone to see because it's like Halloween decorations or I don't know. Uh, in video games, there's usually like a treasure chest up there like a something something of value in in addicts but not in real life um let's see like a okay hold on i don't know why my thing is acting up okay got it i appreciate that i 
I don't know what those letters are, but A, A rain? What? Um, I'll try my best. Uh, Ryan, yeah, that's all good until it starts to rain and you're stuck down there with a melting clown face and broken dreams. <laughs> Rome, you need to stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. That, like, it, oh my gosh, if, like, the rain literally pushes him into the sewer, that would be tragic. Like, if he enters the sewer because of this prank, man, I think there would be big regrets. Um, okay, okay, cool, cool. A, okay, um, e -ray? I think I might stick with calling you E-Ray because I, I don't know if those are English letters, like if those are alphabetical letters, but I can't see what you typed after the letter A. Um, don't worry, I'll look, I'll look at the weather report. You know what? You, you do your research, you scare some kids. Halloween is only about 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 days away. Plot it out, record it, it'll be a hit. Um... <laughs> Or it'll be a fail and it'll still be really popular because people would still love to you know to watch it So either way just record yourself um, Oh, yeah, you still haven't answered my question. Like how do you fit into a sewer? <laughs> if we're talking about the sewers where he was creeping in like the water kind of drains in like There's no way you can fit there. I'm sorry. There's no way I think your your goal of scaring kids is just not gonna happen. You're a pro. I see. I see. This is not your first rodeo. You've been scaring kids long ago. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna wish you luck. I'm not gonna discourage you anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna wish you luck at this point. Guys, are you gonna do anything for Halloween? Like, speaking of Halloween, I love Halloween. What are you doing for Halloween? You know, like, I feel like Halloween is kind of cancelled. But, you know. No, okay, so this is what my friend said. She's kind of clever. She's like, oh, trick-or-treating is cancelled, but Halloween is not cancelled. Like, she still wants to celebrate Halloween. And I am so down for that. Like, celebrating Halloween despite COVID. Go around scaring kids. What's the fun in that? Scaring adults is way more fun. Honestly, yeah, I feel like scaring adults have... Like, the, those reactions are way better because adults, when you scare adults, usually they, like, try to maintain their composure because, you know, they're adults. They're, they try to, like, either shrug it off or, like, oh, like, they, they get scared and they're just, like, huh. Oh, like, they're, they, they, like, try to, like, get back to normal. So I feel like scaring adults is way more fun because, like, first of all, not many people scare adults. Um, so it's just, like, a more rare occurrence. And second, I think they're going to try to play it off. Which is hilarious. There's so much chaos going on in the stream that I can't even focus on my show. I'd rather choose paying attention to the stream madness now. <laughs> Robert, you're never gonna finish your show. <laughs> Fitting into a sewer. Latex, termination, and a lot of Vaseline. Oh jeez, that sounds like... Like you're preparing for a little... You know? A little <laughs> exciting night. Latex? Vaseline? Sewer? <laughs> 